Howdy. Um, every time I call Howdy, that's how he answers the phone anyway. If you guys ever call Howdy Bailey, he call, he'll go, Howdy! And I'll go, Howdy! Howdy! <laughs> and we just do this little thing back and forth. And then I saw him last week. I just popped in to say hi because I, I happened to be in uh, Norfolk picking up the uh, propeller. Prop. Propeller. I don't know where that came from. Um, anyway, I just, but it was right down the road from his shop. So I stopped in and I said, hi, howdy. And, um, damn, he's so cool. You know, he's 82 years old and still going just, God, he's just, he's amazing. And I told him, I said, howdy, if I make it that long, dude, I want to be just like you. Cause he is just a ray of sunshine. Howdy Bailey. Y'all, he is just such a cool guy. Anyway. Okay. So about this week's episode. Coming to you live from home. Yep. This is my room. Um, yeah, I don't have a fancy studio. All I do is pick my lamp up and start videoing. <laughs> Cause I'm just weird. Okay. No, 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 that's not why you, that's not why you clicked on this video. Okay. But okay. Here's the thing. So I'm going to do something different. Stay with me. If you're one of those that just listen for, you know, oh God, there she's talking and then you, and then you click it off. Please don't do that. Because I'm going to add something to the end of this video where it's going to be like a sneak peek of next week. And it might not even be next week. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. It might be sooner than next week. But here's the thing. It's the quintessential. If Bob is a boy boat, Bob got a tuxedo. Hey, hey. But if Bob is a girl boat, as most boats are, then Bob got a ball count. But in any case, stay tuned for a sneak, for just like a, a sneak peek. Okay, so stay to the end of the video. All right, so this week I'm just going to do uh, the waterline and how we painted the waterline and how we got it on there uh, after painting the bottom. And then at the bow of the boat, the Transworld boats have a issue of contention amongst the Transworld folks, apparently, because some of us, myself included, think that the creature that's on the bow of our boat is a sea serpent. I'm one of them. And some people that own Transworlds think that it's a dragon. I don't see how that can possibly be because it doesn't have wings. I also suggested that we have this discussion over rum at a rafta. Now there's not that many of us Transworld folks, but I'm pretty sure we could get some Leaky Tiki folks in on it. Be like, come on Leaky Tiki raft up, bring the rum and some tequila and we'll argue about this. I'm down. I'm, I'm, I'm totally there. Y'all just named a place. As long as it's not too far. Cause Bob's going to Norfolk for rigging soon. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, enjoy this week's episode and you know, just stay to the end. Cause I want to show you this. I think it's really cool. And I, and I really want y'all's feedback. So start feedbacking by the way. Nobody says anything. It's either cause my videos suck or y'all are just shy. So if they suck, <laughs> they suck. If, if you're shy, just say something. Um, yeah, so that's it. It's going to be over there. Okay, bye. After we finished painting Bob's bottom, it was time to paint the waterline or put on the waterline. There's two ways you can do that. You can tape it off and paint it for a straight line, or you can order a waterline tape. I was really concerned about my ability to put on waterline tape straight. Dad and I decided to tape off the waterline using the existing lines on the boat. So coming down to the stretch, we're now doing the waterline, which will be a three and a half inch waterline, white, bordered by two black stripes. And of course you tape it off so you don't have to do so much work. Well, that and and, and I couldn't do the paint the, the tape. Like you can do a, a tape for the waterline, but I don't have enough confidence in my ability to tape to to do that. So we opted to paint on the waterline instead of use the little pinstripe tape that you can get at West Marine. And frankly, they didn't have any big enough either. That was the other part. So. All right, guys. I put the second coat under the waterline for the waterline on. 
and I guess it's time to pull it off the tape and I'm honestly bejiggity about it because frankly it looks rough it looked rough from the beginning so I didn't really have a whole lot to work with and I'm not sure I had the confidence to sand it down because I just don't really know enough so um mm, let's see what happens all right well here I go oh, I don't like it it just didn't get the clean line that I was hoping for. Okay, hold that tight. I'm gonna pull the rest. Uh, okay, lost my tail. Alright you guys, here it goes. The big reveal. My tail's getting long. I'm stuck in it. Well, honestly, I thought it would be worse. What do you think? You're like, it's shit. <laughs> I'm just not going to say it. <laughs> so the paint dripped under the tape. Oh, so irritated. So here's this teeny tiny brush I went through and free-handed the entire water line on both sides. Okay, hey guys. So we are, we had to back out. We had to push the date to Splash Bob a little bit. And so we're one week out. And as you can see in the background, the water line is done. And I did, used, I used tape that was at West Marine. And I'm, I'm gonna explain, it's that blue tape that was at West Marine. But the acrylic paint is really viscous. So it leaked, it like dripped down inside behind the tape. The boatyard told me there's this uh, line tape that you can use that it doesn't do that with, but I didn't use it. So what I ended up doing in the, there's video of that is uh, freehanding where it ran down. So in the background, you can see that I work with a little itty bitty brush. But now uh, for the next couple of days, I'm on this platform. Yay. And I'm going to be doing this right here. I'm going to make this gold flake ah. and adding Bob's letters and trying to come up with um, some designs for the whale and the flower and just what to do with this front now that we're all there. I did pick out the gold for the letters. Bob doesn't need really big, bold, crazy lettering. I think a little understated would be nice, so I'm going to stick with that. And, um, yeah, so the scaffolding here is my platform for the next couple of days. So stay tuned. I think it's going to be exciting. Okay, bye. So I'm going to apply this liquid leaf over, I believe it's a sea serpent because it doesn't have wings. But anyway, basically, I'm going to take the sea serpent and add who's now kind of covered with varnish and he's not really he's kind of dingy and I'm gonna dress it up with some of that paint here and it's very hard to do this and video but to give you an idea I'm gonna get in there trim it out and then fill Right, and I could have used the gold flex, which was sort of recommended, but um, 
because this didn't, this is vertical. And the gold flecks go on with adhesive and it may have been really difficult. But just this coverage is really lovely. And I'm sure there's some naysayers going, ah, it's about, blah, 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 blah. And, it, and it is, but I have a plan for that to make sure that it's sprayed in and um, waterproof and all that. I'm not like Bob Ross by any means, but mom would definitely be proud. She is good at this shit. I'm not so well. So anyway, um, I'm going to dip the brush and show you a little bit more. Okay. And again, I just make sure I catch a line and pull. Had a little more paint on my brush for that one than I wanted. But this paint is so user friendly. I mean, that it's kind of hard to screw it up. And, and the thing is, is that it holds a bead. You know, I think that's what I'm trying to say here is it really holds a bead. Like here I'm holding the phone and I hope I can't look at the phone to see what it's, what, what I'm doing on there. So I'm going to glance down and just kind of get in there and oops. Here's a few pics of the finished product. So I had to go in and take the 100 ton rules of the road test today and I passed. I can't believe it. I just, I'm in shock. So I guess it means that I submitted a bunch of paperwork and we'd like to do some current sea time. I'd like to get some offshore sea time and I know that's coming. So to celebrate, I'm down here at the marina. I'm enjoying their pool. And um, I'm just kind of, oh, look at that, a bug landed on me. I'm just kind of taking a load off. I can't believe this happened. I just can't believe it. That being said, oh, fuck. And remember when I told you all I dislocated my shoulder? Um, ow, I'm weak as a kitten. So now's a really good time to get this shoulder up to speed. So anyway, that's the, that's the update. Okay, bye. And finally... The last little piece. I get to do the unboxing, huh? Okay, this is the the netting that we ordered. Safety safety netting for the safe for the line safety line. Yeah, and notice how I with just my hands ripped the box open. Yes, that's his fierce strength. <laughs> Ooh. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Well, Dad, Dad's been sort of the anti right now. He's been kind of, oh, look at the, hold that up. Look at the, you want a knife? Don't, don't cut the netting. <laughs> is it that's funny okay so this came from a shit I have to go online to remember the name of it it's a hundred foot and it's 33 inches wide 32 inches wide oopsie you well Okay, hold on. We're going to pause it and stretch it out a bit. It's kind of, actually, it's kind of hard to see. 
All right, so here it is. Oh, it's like, because it's black. Right? It's so cool. It's way even harder to see than white would be. Yeah. Now, what do you think of the hole diameter? Because Dad was a little it, bit. Yeah, and it'll work. He it thinks doesn't it... work. We use for fish. Fishing. Yep, fish net. So, do you think it it's too fat for the stanchions? No. Worst case scenario, we can get the stanchions redone. Oh man, oh man, that's cool. Oh, Back. See, it stretches. It does stretch. Yeah. And so the stanchions, well, let me back up. Come up to your what, your hip? Right about here. So it's gonna be from top to bottom on the stanchions. Yeah. All right, how exciting is that? Oh man, off to Bob we go.